let's get straight down to some tech construction. Yeah, this week's challenge involves Susie and Otis uh, trying to find the scariest and most exhilarating roller coaster rides in the UK, both real and simulated. And I think it's fair to say that along the way you found a few tips that the mm -hmm. designers of these things use to make them so terrifying. Exactly. So we wondered, knowing what we know, in true gadget show style, could we mm. make our own simulator in my lounge? Our challenge was to recreate the feeling of this <laughs> in a place like this. However, we probably couldn't fit all those struts and steel girders into my house, so we're going to do it all using the trickery of technology. The first step is to have some sort of visual that will recreate the views from your roller coaster. That will give you the sensation of height and speed, something I know quite a bit about, thanks to you. Yes, but we can do that here, right now, using computer-generated graphics. I've got my hands on this top roller coaster simulation program, No Limits. It allows you to build your own tracks using CAD, computer aided design. It's used for technical drafts of real roller coasters and mimics real coaster behaviour. What about oh. that? 52 metres. That's very high. The more real it feels, the better. I've got a loop the loop here. Oh, oh thank you. you. Thanks yeah. for that, yeah. And it's so simple. You can also add supports, scenery, all the things to make your roller coaster more realistic and more thrilling. Ah. You know what? It, it is really it's good. It's good, isn't it? But it's missing something. What do you mean? Well, that real sensation of motion. Now, I know we can't recreate the same forces that I had when I was on the roller coaster. Mm. But what if we had a seat that had the movement? Poking around the scrapyard found us the seat from an old Mondeo. We welded a car's drive shaft to a base plate to act as a pivot for the seat, then attached four springs to the corners and motorbike handles so that it could be steered in time with the graphics. Hey, that's not bad, Dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Steady on, Hotshot. Okay. Not finished yet, because we need to get that, that bowel trembling, sick inducing rumbling that you get, you know, when the roller coaster is hurtling down the tracks. Yeah. Yeah. I've come up with a real gem here, the Earthquake Quake Transducer. It's basically a very low frequency speaker designed to give a vibrating boom effect to gaming chairs and home theatres. With a range of 5 to 40 hertz and 100 watts of power, it should give our roller coaster an incredible rumble. Do you feel it? Oh, yeah! Do you feel it in there? Right in there! Can I just put my hand there just to. Rinse in the basement! Oh, yeah. Hey, it's good, isn't it? On a ones and two South London crew! <laughs> Wiggle if you feel me! Wiggle if you feel me! It's good then, yeah? Yeah. Our roller coaster seat was a success, but with all that wobbling, we wouldn't be able to focus on the small screen of Susie's laptop. We needed something much more spectacular. Hey, Susie, what do you think? I think it's fair to say it's very large. Yeah, look! Yeah? 65 inches! This top-of-the-range Panasonic has a massive 60,000 to 1 contrast ratio and a colour range 120% higher than normal HDTV. We coupled it with a 5.1 speaker Logitech gaming sound system to give the sound of the roller coaster a realistic 3D feel. Susie, it's really good. Given the size of the screen, watching the action, I already feel nauseous. Yeah, but it's great for home theatre, but yeah. this test is supposed to be completely immersive. which you really feel like you're on a roller coaster. It's fairly obvious that this is just an old car seat, that's a big telly, and this is my front room. I think you need to wear a pair of these. The View 6 eyewear are a pair of virtual display goggles with the equivalent of a 62-inch screen inside. This would cut off Otis's peripheral vision completely. I can see nothing but what's on the screens in front of me. Then that's a good thing. And I had one last idea to make it that bit more realistic. OK, are you ready, Otis? Set it off, Susie. OK, three, two, one, go! Oh, up we go. Going up, that's nice. Oh, this is always the bit where you know you can't get out. Oh, I can feel that a little bit, actually. Yeah? Cue the wind! What? Oh! <laughs> oh, wow! Susie, this isn't bad! Whoa! Oh, you're doing well back there! Woo! Even though I knew I was in Susie's living room, my senses were screaming otherwise. With the sound of the roller coaster in my ears, the rumble of the track beneath me, and seeing nothing but the drop ahead, it felt like the real thing. This is really good! Oh, Susie, you do do a good ride. Oh, thanks! <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. yeah. 
Do you know what? Susie, that was actually really good. I can't believe it. We've made a roller coaster in my front room. Whoa! Yeah? yeah? Yeah, it's brilliant. It's very, very realistic. Hey, do you want to know what happened to your heartbeat when oh, you were yeah, on this? Oh, yeah, yeah, what happened? It went from 60 and it more than doubled to 121 You're beats kidding. per minute. That's really? Amazing. Really so That means we succeeded then. You can build your very own one in your lounge. All you have to do is log on to the Gadget Show oh. website and you'll find all the details there. That's 5.tv <laughs> slash Gadget Show. Absolutely Yay. brilliant work, guys. Well, that's all we've got time for on this week's show. We'll see you next week and it's our summer special. See, see you then. Next time. Bye. Oh, oh, hang on, wait, wait. Hey, hey. I think I'm gonna howl. <laughs> <laughs>